it's traumatic to try and get our mail at this point. And only on KSL, neighbors call for change after a mailman is hit by a driver. Right now, that postal worker is recovering in the hospital after being pinned between two cars yesterday in Lehigh. News specialist Lad Egan spoke exclusively with neighbors who say they're putting their life at risk every time they go get their mail. Lad? Yeah, Dave, that's right. Neighbors say they were worried for years that a tragedy like this would happen. They say 2300 West is just too busy for a community mailbox and that there's not enough room on the side of the road. Just seeing, seeing the power of the collision, I knew that the injuries were very serious. Ashley Budd saw the crash that severely injured a mailman. We're so sorry that he had to put his life on the line to try and and just do his job. Rural mail carrier Warren Henry was at the back of his minivan when police say the driver of a white sedan veered to the side of the road, hitting and pinning him. Rather substantial injuries, compound fractures uh, to his legs. They're going to keep him sedated for three days. It could have been any one of us. Oh, yeah huge trucks driving by all the time. Bud says the neighborhood has been trying for years to get the community mailboxes moved to a safer location. We were willing to pay the cost. It was $1,000 for the additional box. It was absolutely preventable, and it was simple to do. I gave them my the strip on a yard. I volunteered that. Another neighbor, Kimberly Allgood, says she even offered property for the mailbox, but was turned down. How many times do we have to go to them and be turned down? It, it's It's... It's beyond me at this point. I want it moved, and I want it moved this week. So I'm shaking just being here. I was dreading coming to this stop, and I just want to get it done and get off this road. Mail carrier Mary Miller took care of the route today, servicing the same stop where her co-worker was injured. My heart is with him, hoping that he recovers fully from this and that he'll be able to walk again. She says it's known as a dangerous location and agrees with those who live nearby. I'd like to see it moved off of this main street into the neighborhood where it's safer to be standing in the road, not with cars flying past you. Police identify the driver of the sedan as 38-year-old Stephen Shane Smith. They say they are pursuing DUI charges against him. We also reached out to the U.S. Postal Service numerous times today. They wouldn't comment on the location of the mailbox, but they did issue a statement saying the U.S. Postal Service and the local Lehigh, Utah postal team join with the employee's family in wishing him a swift and full recovery. Dave, police say doctors are trying to save one of the legs of that postal workers. I think we all join with this neighborhood in uh, hoping and praying for a full recovery. Absolutely. And I think we all agree the post office could do something about this. Lad Egan, live in Lehigh. Thank you, Lad.